Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and welcome to another episode of Live with Ash. So yes, I'm late again. I am sorry. Uh, setting it, setting this up kind of took time. I'm still not very comfortable with live, YouTube live at least. So it takes a little bit of time for me to set up. So how are you guys? So guys, we've been planning on building another PC soon. So this time around, we're looking at doing a 80K-ish uh, editing PC. Do you have any suggestions? Do you want to see a Ryzen or an Intel? Uh, what are you looking at? What other uh, kind of build uh, would you be interested in? What budgets? Uh, taking requests here. I'm doing good. How are you? Threadripper, not at 80k, dude. I don't want to go for a outrageously high belt right now. Uh, a GTX 1070 uh, is what somebody is suggesting. A 1070 is not required for an editing build, for a gaming build, yes. Uh, speed test Honor 8 Pro. I don't have the Honor 8 Pro anymore. Um, you're not getting YouTube notifications. Sorry about that, nothing much we can do. Was feeling incredibly bored and just got this notification. Cool. Uh, AMD graphics, I'm not looking at using a, uh, what do you say, uh, expensive uh, GPU this time, probably go with the 1060. Okay, we've got a super chat. Cool, saw the match yesterday. Yes, I did. Uh, we lost, that's sad. Mm -hmm. Hang on, let me just. Okay, now, okay, use the 1060. Uh, Mino 3 unboxing is coming tomorrow. I don't have the Mino 3 over here, but it's kind of very experimental what I'm doing with this video. Uh, so basically here spoilers, right? For all those uh, of you awesome people who are here on Live with Ash, I'm gonna give you spoilers. So basically I'm shooting the entire video in 4K, 21 is the nine. Uh, I know there's no logical reason to shoot 21 is the nine, but I just wanted to do something different. So 21 is the 9, 23.97 FPS, so more cinematic. Uh, and yeah, kinda tweak stuff around. So it is very, very weird and new to do it, kinda challenging. So I spent the entire day shooting it. So it should be live tomorrow, 7.30 PM. So hope you guys uh, like it. All right, so let's go on to the next question. Um, Ryzen 7, yes, probably looking at Ryzen 7. Titan XP on an 80K belt, come on, dude. Uh, how is the Google Pixel? I wanna buy it because I won't be able to afford the Pixel 2. Why not the OnePlus 5? The Pixel is awesome, but the OnePlus 5 is just better in that segment. Will a 30K PC beat a similarly priced console? Yes, almost, yes. See, consoles are more about the ease of gaming and not having to tinker around, uh, but PCs do work out cheaper. Hey guys, hey to everybody saying hey. Okay, so let's, let's, let's scroll, let's scroll, let's scroll. Uh, YouTube is buggy. Do you think AR and VR will be the next big thing? Actually, I was planning on doing a bachelor's in simulation and visualization from Full Sail USA. Uh, I really think AR is gonna be huge because we already see uh, mainstream brands incorporating it into their products, as in not just for the consumers, but from a advertising and presentation points of view. And that is how technology grows. Once some brand starts to try to take advantage of it for marketing and stuff, that's when it kind of gets shoved on our throats and the adoption rates go up. So I'm guessing, uh, if I were to hazard a guess, I'd say AR will be huge in the future. Okay, thanks Aditya. 80K gaming PC, we just did two gaming PCs, wanna do a editing rig. Tamil from Tamil Tech actually wanted a PC build, so I'd probably 
uh, be helping him out with it. So I thought I'd shoot a video of the same. Um, okay, where is C4E Games? That's not coming back till we go to the new place, dude. Don't have the space. Um, <laughs> is OnePlus X a good deal at 5K? A new OnePlus X? If it's a used OnePlus X at 5K, it's okay. Snapdragon 630 was a 625. Huge difference aside from theoretical graphical improvement. Not really, not a lot of difference over there. Uh, it's still the same 40 nanometer fin fed. So, uh, I mean, it's just a generation. Yes, it is a generation improvement, but then a lot of generational improvements these days have been kind of incremental. So I don't expect, don't expect the, I mean, it's not, it's going to be nowhere close to 617 to 625 kind of improvement is what I can say. Um, learn from Tamil Tech. What do you want me to learn from Tamil Tech? LG V30 Indian launch is supposed to be in the next two months as far as rumors go, whatever I've heard. Uh, iPhone 7 to iPhone 8. I wouldn't upgrade from a 7 to an 8. Uh, the iPhone 8 is awesome, but if you've seen our speed tests, it's not extremely different. The camera is again great, but then not that much of an improvement over the previous generation. The 7 is still a great phone. Single generation upgrades, uh, I generally don't recommend them. Will you be doing an Nokia 8 review? Yes. I'm trying to get my hands on one. What is the size of the video? Mino 3. It's around 1.5 GB. If I can recall. It is rendering right now. Which camera am I shooting with? I'm shooting with the front camera of the Galaxy Note 8. Um, Nokia 8, your thoughts? I've got a dedicated video on it. Do check it out. So guys, we've been live for seven minutes. Uh, I know there's just a few of you here, but then thumbs up, please. That would be awesome if you could, if you don't mind. Uh, okay, let's just go down. Ever flashed a custom ROM? I flashed a lot of custom ROMs uh, a few years back. I just don't do them anymore. Don't have the time to tinker around with devices quite as much. I've got a bunch of videos uh, related to the same as well. Um, your phone pick, flagship. Currently my favorite flagship would be the Galaxy Note 8. I've been liking the cameras on it. Yes, the blind test, the iPhone was awesome. I don't disagree, but then for me, I like the higher saturation because if you look at my thumbnails and stuff, I do boost saturation a little bit because I think that's kind of pleasing to the eye. If I wanted pure uh, natural colors and all that, I'd shoot manual anyway, uh, or I would probably take my uh, mirrorless camera out. When I'm shooting on a smartphone camera, I want it to look better than what it is, uh, a little bit, bit more catchy personally. So for me, the, uh, the iPhone, the Galaxy Note 8's camera is what I like, I prefer. What's my internet plan? My internet plan's uh, 100 Mbps, 200 Mbps connections, one U broadband, one ACT. Sundar kind of has a cold, yes. Hmm. Mi Mix 2 or Mi 6 for India? Xiaomi's confirmed it's gonna be the Mi Mix 2 in India. I would have loved to see the Mi 6 because at 25K that would have been a killer deal kind of undercut uh, OnePlus 5 totally. What do you guys think? Do you think if the Mi 6 launched in India for 25K, it would kind of kill the flagship killer OnePlus 5? What do you think? Thoughts in the comments. Confused whether to buy a costly phone and keep it for years or buy a budget one and change it every year. If you wanna, if you're really looking at keeping a phone for three or four years or something like that, then go with an iPhone. Uh, because as far as support goes, Apple is the best. Because I actually had a friend over here uh, a little while back uh, who has an iPhone 4S. That's got the control center and everything. And just think about something like a Galaxy S. Now, do you ever see somebody with a Galaxy S? Uh, Apple's got good support. You've got to give that to Apple. Okay, let's come back to real time. Hang on. Hey, when I use 100 Mbps U broadband, nice Rahul. Uh, if you were to choose OnePlus 5 or S7 Edge, 
if camera is a priority, if you like shooting videos particularly, and you want the high resolution display and the looks and the brand value, then it's gonna be the S7 Edge. But if you want a really snappy phone uh, with quite an excellent cam set of cameras, dual cameras, uh, if the portrait mode is something that you're intrigued by, uh, and you're okay, you're not gonna really use your phone for VR or something, then it's gonna be the OnePlus 5. Again, brand value will take a hit. Uh, my favorite Tamil YouTube channel, see for it, Tamil. When I be available 4K 60 FPS, not shooting 4K 60 FPS, 4K 60 FPS kind of kills my CPU. Uh, 4K 23, my CPU can kind of deal with it. Uh, 4K 16 would mean I'll have to run everything through encoder, kind of keep creating proxies. That would be kind of difficult. Say hello one time, hello. Um, iPhone 6s to iPhone 8, worthy upgrade, hell yes. As to your knowledge, will there be a OnePlus 5T or not? Not that I know of. Last year they did say it's a one-time thing, it's not gonna be a regular thing. Me Note 3, uh, we don't have any details on if it's gonna come to India. Okay, let's just go back to real time. iPhone 8 plus camera comparison videos will start from Monday. From Monday, you'd be seeing a bunch of iPhone 8 plus camera comparisons. Which microphones do I use? The Zoom 86, uh, the Rode NTG3. Got the apartment, we'll know more in October. Uh, Moto G5 S Plus versus Honor 8. Honor 8 is the more powerful phone. Why do you smile when you say SAR values? I've got a dedicated video on why SAR values, why you do not have to care about SAR values, why they're absolutely not important at all. And you can check that out. So basically, here's a short version. There's a certain value that's, that's mentioned by people uh, who have done much more research than you, me, or any other YouTuber. And that is any phone above those SAR values cannot be sold in the country. They will not get certification. So the government says this is fine, the researchers say it's fine, and only phones with less than that SAR value can be sold in the country. So any phone sold in India has acceptable SAR values. So going through the SAR values, complaining about SAR values makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. But then people keep asking me over and over again in the comments, so every time I go like, here's your SAR values. Uh, Okay, going through comments. FIFA 18, I'm not checked out yet. Is it good? What do you guys think? If you like FIFA 18, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Just messing with you. Uh, okay, okay, okay. What else, what else, what else? Let's come back to real time. I over scrolled. Thanks for answering my question, cool. Can you make iPhone 10 as a daily driver? Of course, once I get it, I would use it as my primary for at least a week before coming out of the review. So yeah. Uh, how many years OnePlus will get updates? Seemingly a year, two major updates is what the OnePlus 3 and 3T got. So still better than the market, the market average, like Lenovo Moto's one update or zero update policy. So yeah. GDX 1050Ti and the G4560 is still the best combination for a low budget gaming build. Yes. Um, why live with Ashes on Friday? Because Wednesday my mom had uh, flown in from uh, Dubai so she was here so I kind of decided to push it by a couple of days. At the same time I wanted to experiment and see how Fridays work out for Live with Ash. Hmm. 
let's 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 go back uh please review 10rg do you guys want to see 10rg on c4e tech is that something that interests you let me know if you guys want me to i can probably get one actually tweet it out to me if you want to see me cover the 10rg i will try to get it done i am very interested in the lg v30 generally i'm not really interested in the lg phones but this time the v30 does have me intrigued with f1.6 camera Plus, LG, of course, is the only other brand. May of course, yeah, ASUS does it, but barring Samsung to provide manual controls for video, LG was, in fact, the first brand to do it. So, let's see. The VC Only for the V-series, though. I don't know. Did the G6 have manual video? G5 didn't, which was ridiculous, given that the V10 did. When is the next meetup at Chennai? Absolutely no clue. We are thinking about doing a meetup in Bangalore soon, so let's see. Visit Nepal, love from Nepal. Should do sometime, dude. I would like to. I don't have a primary phone. I just have whatever it is that I'm testing. Currently, my sim's in the Galaxy Note 8. Oops. One second. Just, just give me a second, guys. me one sec one sec one sec please review 10rg okay okay just guys tweet it out to me i mean of course i'm going through uh the the comments right now but if you're watching it after the stream has ended or something do tweet out let me know uh if 10rg is something you'd want me to cover It's just um, hey, cool. Nokia 8 review it. Yes, the Nokia 8 is something I'm trying to source. Should be getting it soon, hopefully. Why didn't you go to Melbourne? I was just caught up with work, dude. Have so much backlogs. So, will there be a live with Sun Sundar? You'd need to ask Sundar that. <sighs> Pop out chat. Ooh. Did you observe any income growth at this time? Being a YouTuber, I did see, I don't know, dude, it varies all the time. Uh, Nintendo Switch, I use it to play Bomberman. To be honest, Bomberman are, I like playing it like uh, couch multiplayer. So that's what I'm doing with my Switch right now. But all the other games I'd probably get it on the PC or the PS4 Pro because the PS4 Pro is actually going to give you better graphics and as long as it's going to be a port to the Switch, uh, you're not going to, it's not going to have multiplayer capabilities like Couch Co-op or something like that if it doesn't have it for a PS4. Alright guys, it's been 18, almost 19 minutes. So I guess I'm going to go now. Uh... To everybody who's been here, thanks a lot for uh, hanging out with me. Uh, if you guys, um, let me know, uh, tweet out to me with whatever it is, which day that you prefer for me to do live. And if your question hasn't been picked yet, views raised. Okay. Uh, if your question hasn't hasn't been picked yet, tweet it out with the hashtag Ash Answers, and we'll try to answer it uh, on Sunday's show. So that's it. If you hated this video, vote it down. But if you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, kind of motivates me to keep doing more live streams. So do give this video a thumbs up. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this here is Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.